Hey guys, it's Papa. All you van camper folks. Um, Grammy and I are in the North Carolina mountains hiking around at 5,000 to 6,000 feet elevation. It's fabulous up here. And uh, that's where you have to go to find the, the red spruce trees like that one back there. And it's a beautiful day. We're up here for a week. So, I haven't done a video about minimal uh, van camping in a while, so I thought I would uh, show you the inside of our, our van camping setup the way it is now. So, stay tuned. So, here's our home away from home. We've spent many hundreds of hours camping in this van all over the United States. The only place we haven't been is the Pacific Northwest and uh, you know Washington State and Oregon. We haven't been there but we're going to go. The main feature about our van setup is it's very flexible. The black thing is a tumbling mat that's eight feet long, four feet wide, and two inches thick. That's the floor of our van. You know we can sit on that we do everything on it. It's easy to clean. Just spray it with some alcohol and wipe it up. That's probably the coolest feature. We don't have a we don't have chairs, we don't have a sink, we don't have a stove, we don't have a bathroom. But by the same token, our van setup is very lightweight and also it's versatile. If we want to put bikes in here, we can do that. And we double employ all the space. What's that called? What am I trying to say? Uh, we use the same space for several things. In other words, this is our sleeping space. Those are our sleeping pads rolled up. It's also our lounging space. We sit and put our backs against that. And it's our cooking space too. We've, we've got the stove, which is kind of laying over because Grammy just made some tea. It's cooling off. Another great feature of our van setup is the, the potty, Thetford potty. And this thing has made a, all the difference in our camping life because we don't have to worry about a bathroom. We don't have to get in line for a bathroom. We don't have to worry about germ, getting germs from a bathroom. If we're on the road, we need to gas up. We pull into the gas station, gas up, and we use our little potty. Wherever there's a dump station, you can dump it. It's easy to dump, it's easy to, there's no cleaning necessary. You dump it and then you spray it. You won't rinse it out with water and put in some digester and some pine saw. Um, a dump station or a vault toilet, perfect places to dump. Um, so it's, it's made a huge difference in our ability to stay healthy. Uh, if you can't pee when you need to pee, you might get a UTI, urinary tract infection. Well, you can pee when you need to pee with this potty. Here's the here's the pantry. There's Grammy's pantry. Here's my pantry. And all our food goes in our, our pantries. We eat foods that, that don't spoil. We eat foods that don't require much cooking. And we eat foods that are healthy. That is a sweet onion. Good stuff. Tomatoes. Salsa. Nuts. No refrigeration required in all of it. This is toilet tissue. We call it all-purpose roll. We use it for everything. The conventional uses and to clean up our dishes. Speaking of dishes, sum total of our dishes where's my sum total of my dishes this a spoon and a coffee cup that's all there is and that's all we really need we have a french press coffee pot that works good 
Here's our curtain set up to, so that we can curtain off the front of the van for privacy. Uh, that's a piece of PVC pipe that's stuck into uh, little places like this on each side. Um, and then, you know, we, the, the curtains come together in the middle. We got these bungees on the side, each side, and we put our stuff in there. And we also took the, um, the very back seats out so that we have a super huge storage space um, underneath the mat. That's where, that's where the very back seats used to go. So we have all kind of storage space back there. Extra drinking water, extra propane, extra boots, uh, 12 volt fan. So how do we get power to charge our our um, iPhones and our battery powered headlamps and that sort of thing? We got the solar panel up here on the roof. It's just one solar panel. I used to have two, but I needed it for something. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna get another one eventually. Two solar panels will provide all the power you need. Why do you need solar panels? Because you know you can use your cigarette lighter when your car is running, but I never plug into that when the car is off because it drains the battery. And and there's nothing fancy about this. These wires just run like down through here. And they're just duct taped against the side of the van. Oops. And then they just go under there, under the rug, toward the front seat. So those wires coming from the solar panels come under the front seat and they hook to this charge controller which I've just got laying here. And then there's a battery, 125 amp hour battery here that stores this charge. And then I've got this three 12 volt plug unit here. And we just plug everything into that. I noticed that my battery terminal is getting pretty corrosive. Looks like we've got coral reef uh, developing down here. We might uh, de declare this a uh, World Heritage Site. For tropical creatures. This is what we do uh, on our windows, our door windows. If we want to roll the windows down and get some air circulation, uh, but if there are no, there's no possibility of bears or raccoons crawling in the windows. In that case, we don't we don't use these. But these are real cool. I don't know if you can see the company that does this. But you can get these on Amazon. You can get everything on Amazon. Uh, you can buy artificial limbs on Amazon. You can buy a wife on Amazon. Anything you want. Uh, they're just these net things and they fit over the window like this. Like so. That'll keep the bugs out and let the air come in. If we think there's, uh, you know, let's say there were, we didn't want critters to try to get in, we could just roll the window down uh, a little bit and let the air circulate. Also, we have a 12 volt fan that we can hang on our curtain rod to blow over us and, and pull the air, air cool air in through these doors. Hi, we're back at camp now. This is the Blue Ridge Parkway. And they have really nice campsites here, campgrounds and campsites. But anyway, I've been hiking all day and I'm, it got hot and I'm hot and sticky and sweaty. I'm not going to bed before I take a bath. So let's go take a bath. Okay, I've turned on the van, turned the heater on to warm it up. Or if it was hot, I could, I could turn the air conditioning on to cool things down you know there are a lot of ways to take a bath one way is to put on your bathing suit and go out there with a gallon jug of water and pour it over your head that works great especially when it's really hot 
but it's not really hot now it's kind of chilly so I'm going to take a sponge bath inside the van on the waterproof black tumbling mat so here we go lighting the stove and pouring in some water doesn't take much yeah, it's about half full um, you don't have to heat up the water but I've decided I wanted to heat the water up because it's chilly out there now this pot that I'm using to heat the water up in and to take my sponge bath that's a bandana in there by the way heating up also this is the pot that we make coffee in so don't get grossed out if you take a bath in the coffee pot you know it really makes the coffee taste so much better not really you can easily sterilize this out at this pot after you're done by taking your handy dandy alcohol squirt bottle and squirting some alcohol in there and rubbing it around as a matter of fact when I take a bath I usually do squirt some alcohol in there just to kill germs that cause body odor let's check the water got a long way to go so we'll wait okay the water's plenty hot now turn off the stove and I just take my sponge bath right from the pot on the stove carefully squeeze out my bandana and just commence to take a sponge bath wipe it on me cover myself with water and then I take my hands and wipe my body with my hands just to loosen up the sweat and then I go over it again with the bandana hair as well um, and the cool thing about it is yeah it gets the mat a little messy water gets on the mat as you do this but it's not a problem the mats waterproof you just when you're done you dry it up and if you want to do an alcohol squirt you're fine too why is this nice this is nice because it doesn't matter what the weather is out there you can always warm your van up warm your water up and have a very comfortable sponge bath it's gonna make you feel so clean and happy and by the way I use these towels to dry off with their polyester towels they don't dry anywhere near good as cotton towels uh, they don't dry your body anywhere near as good but if you hang them on the line they'll dry much 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 faster than a cotton towel okay now I usually this is optional I usually do my hair over again just to make sure it gets really clean because I don't use soap soap dries out your skin and the more you use soap the drier your skin gets and the more you need soap too if you don't use much soap your body gets adjusted to not need any soap but I'll squirt my hair all over with this alcohol squirt and then pull out the grease and the oil with my fingers and my polyester towel okay it's starting to get dark cooling off uh, pretty soon we'll roll out our sleeping bags pump up a little air into them and um, crawl into the sack and Grammy will read us to sleep uh, on Kindle books on the phone which you can access whether you have a good phone signal or not right now we're reading Jane Eyre one of the great classics by one of the Bronte sisters so I hope this video has given you some good information that you can use uh, to go camping on a low budget with a very flexible lightweight system you don't have to have a lot of money uh, this is a Kia Sedona van cost us I think it cost us seven thousand bucks yeah it's ten years old plus or minus and um, it's also our family van if we want to go get the grandkids we just throw the seats back in and go get them so it's very flexible very inexpensive and it we didn't have to do a, a huge build job and where we brought a bunch of plywood and insulation and all that stuff spent a lot of money because what if you did that and then you found out you didn't like van camping mm. so anyway if you like this video and it was helpful to you please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that's one of the ways I know what kind of content is good to put up there and by the way I love to get your comments I love comments um, comments about uh, van camping comments about tiny house and minimalist living 
comments about geology, comments about trees, comments about anything that's on your mind, and it doesn't matter what it is, I will always reply to your comments uh, because it's part of what makes me happy. All right, pop out.